Customizing and editing detail layouts in Coda is easily one of the quickest ways you can turn your documents into what feel like full-blown apps. But I'm gonna show you today everything you need to know about Coda detail layouts, as well as some extremely cool tips and tricks for teams. So let's go. All right, so the very first question we need to ask is what is the detail view? So what the detail view is, is simply taking a row that you have and popping it open to see, well, more details. So first of all, this is just really helpful, especially when you have a lot of columns, right? If you have a lot of columns, which you can see here, there's 20 plus all these different ones. You may not wanna have an extremely long table. You may wanna just surface the first five to six important columns. And then inside of your detail view, you can actually edit this to show all your columns. Here's an example right here of a, a detail view that I have that is really rich and really robust with tons of information on it. So you can see that you can customize these as far as you really want and as far as you like. But let's jump back into this here and learn how to configure this. And then we're actually gonna learn how to show different detail views based off the viewer. So follow along with me and we're gonna get there. So when you're inside the detail view, what you're gonna see here is these three dots and you're gonna see something that says edit layout. Once you're in edit layout, you have a lot of different options. First of all, you have your columns, right? Which ones are hidden and which ones are shown. You can also then take some, you know, and unhide them and they'll all show here. What you can do now is you have the option to push these into columns, right? So you can hold a lot of them next to each other. You can also take those columns and you can make them longer or shorter, depending on what needs to be shown. You also have something called a long name. So this can also even just be a short name. You can just call this email, but then on your table, you'll still refer to it as your submitter email. You can even add instructions, right? So I can say, please attach any necessary files for this submission. So that just gives your people context on, you know, what they need to do. Some other great things you can do, you can see that this is bigger up here. You can do a lot of things with the options. That will show up down here. You can give, you can change the label style to standard, large, left, or none. You can also change the alignment as well, right? So if I wanna do a none and do a middle alignment, we can do that. We can change the size as well. Really start customizing this to look exactly like you need it to look. Another thing we could do is if we press done and you'll see there's, there's comments down here, you may not want those because it may just be something you need to view. That kind of clutters up the view. You also have the option to go ahead and hide that. Uh, turn off the columns there. So that is your kind of one-on-one basics on how you edit and modify the detail view. But what I'm gonna show you now is kind of more of a power user trick with Coda. Inside of your documents, you're probably gonna have multiple different types of users who might have different permissions or things they need to see or not need to see. So I'm gonna show you how with a single button, you can smartly identify who's viewing your document, what they should actually see, and change the detail layout depending on who's viewing it. So let's jump into that now. All right, so first let's just set the stage and get a little bit of context here. What these are on the screen are ideas. Ideas, well, this is just an example for something submitted that needs to be worked on. In this case, with this example document, they are assets that need to be generated. So a business needs to generate logo designs or emails or header images for a website. There are two different specific roles in this. There are the people who submit it, so they need to simply be able to view, like what is my submission and what is its status? Is it accepted? Is it rejected? Do I need more information, right? They just need to view into that. And then there's the designers. The designers are the people who are responsible for these tasks themselves. So obviously with these two distinct roles, they're gonna have different responsibilities. Therefore, they're gonna to need to see different things. So let's learn how we can open and change that view depending on who that person is. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to create a button. So let's go here. I'm gonna insert a column before, and I'm gonna call this button view. Okay, view is going to be, or maybe we can just call open. What the open is gonna be is it's going to be a button. So we're gonna go column type, go down to button, and what we're gonna do, I usually like to just put no name there. I like to make it gray, because gray is fun, and then choose gray, and give it a little magnifying glass, right? But when this happens, we are going to open row, um, and we're gonna open row this row. Current view. 
So this is where it's where it's really important. You can choose a view based off which to open this and depending on what view you choose will show certain information or not. So we are actually going to start with two different views. So let's make a view of this table. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it here. Um, we'll put it somewhere else later, but for now I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to call this view. I'm going to let's call it view and then um, the designer. So essentially this is going to be the ones that the designers themselves who are responsible for doing the task, accepting, rejecting are going to open. Let's do another one. I'm going to create another view down below and I'm going to call this view submitter. And then what we're gonna do here is we are going to make this button do something conditionally different. So for example, let's, let's do a table here um, and let's say roles. So in here, we are going to do some email addresses, simpladocs.com, and then we're gonna do scott at codaschool.io. Okay, so those are two different emails that we have and we're gonna give these two different people a different role. We are going to call this column type a select list. We'll give it the role of designer and submitter. Okay, so we're gonna give me, I'm logged in right now with simpledocs.com and we're gonna give me a designer role and we'll give this person a submitter role. So what we're gonna do here is first, let's just go here and say, open row, not current view, right? We don't want to open it on the current view because that will make everyone open the same thing. Instead, we're going to change it to search for those view, designer and submitter, okay? So let's just turn it to designer right now. What that's going to do is it will open this into whatever view is by default in this table. So if I go to this table and I set this layout, pick a different layout. Let's say I do it to a layout two, right? Now it's looks a lot crazier, right? You'll notice that now this button, when I press it, it opens it in that crazy mode. And if I go back here and set the detail layout of this table back to a default, right? This ugly one, this button will open that too. So this button now follows and matches whatever view this is set to. So what we're gonna do here is something fancy. Let's first, let's set this to the one we want. Let's call it uh, idea detail designer. So you'll notice that this gives them the ability to accept, reject, and review things, right? Um, if you're a submitter, you shouldn't be able to accept or reject your own submission. So obviously this is for designers. Uh, so let's set the view of the submitter to the ones the submitter should see as well. Uh, this is called view submitter. I like this idea, but we don't want that accept button. So let's go hide that accept button right now. And great, there we go. So what we're going to do now is essentially we need to make this button do different things depending on who is currently logged in. And so this is where this advanced Coda use case comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this and we're going to change it to a formula. Um, I'm going to just copy this with my keyboard, command copy, delete it. And now I'm going to use a special formula in Coda called run actions. Run actions, um, actually JK, haha, I'm going to use one called if. If is our conditional. If something is true, do this. If it's not true, do that. So if I'm going to say user dot, uh, actually, no, let's do this first. Let's do roles dot filter. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to find out the current person who's logged in and clicking buttons right now. What is their role? So we're going to say roles dot filter to where user dot email. What user is, is user is the special code of formula that, that grabs the current logged in user. So whoever that is. Um, it's going to grab their email and it's going to say is equal to uh, email. No, I think we call it column three, unfortunately. Uh, let's go look. What do we call this column? We call this role. Nope, name. Email of person. Let's call it email of person. We'll go back to this button. We'll open it with our equal sign and we'll say is equal to email of person. So go into my roles table, filter it to where the current user's email is equal to the email of the person. Um, and then we're going to say dot role. So then that's going to grab the role of that actual person. And we're going to say if that role is equal to a designer, then we want to open row this row viewer layout as a designer. If not, we want to open row this row view or layout view 
Um, what do we call that? View submitter? View submitter. There it is. All right. So now here's our formula. We can auto format that. So we're just saying if um, the current logged in person is a uh, designer, then open the designer route. Open the designer detail. All right, so we're almost done. Just stick with me. There's one more trick you need to do to ensure that this actually works. So what I'm going to do, and you'll see that this works, right? I am currently logged in with SimpleDocs and I'm a designer. So if I press this open button, I'm going to get my designer actions. Let's go and change me simply to a submitter instead. Now, if I press this button, I get the submission open layout. But here's the trick. If an individual comes in and doesn't use this button and just presses this, they're going to get the default layout of this table. So what you want to do instead is set the default layout of this one. You're going to say create a new layout and you're going to create essentially a layout with and I'm going to show you a silly trick um, with one column call. Let's make that column a calculate column and make it a formula. And we're just going to type in instructions or text. We can say um, please use the gray button to open this row and view its details. All right. Um, now what we can do is unhide that and we should be able to make it a little bit pretty. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to go back. We're going to hide all these pieces and there we go. So now uh, if I press this button, I get my submitter details. If I change myself to a designer, I'm going to get uh, these details. If I just cheat and open it with this button, I'm going to get instructions that tell me to, you know, use the right thing to open it. So there you go. That is how you set up these conditional detail layouts. There's a lot more to look at with details and a lot of other ways that you can kind of extend these. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. See you guys next time.